back to another video on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to obtain your tax identification number or your TIN online in Nigeria. And just to let you know, there are two uh, TIN number system. We have the 12 digit number system, which is the FIRS, which is the Federal Inland Revenue Service TIN number. And then we have the JTB or the Joint Tax Board. Uh, number system. So the old FIRS number system is always 12 digits and then the JTB which is the new one is the 10 digits. So basically you know FIRS has been the one the body responsible for giving tax ID to to people but JTB was actually, you know, created to, you know, which is like a, a combination of different agencies. Now they share the same database. Now, instead of going to CAC, presenting some, you know, all the documents, creating your business name, and then you have to go to the same, F, go to FIRS and present the same document just to get a tax number. So they made it easier. So once you created, I mean, you register for your business name, all you have to do is apply for a TIN number on the JTB uh, website. And so you just submit your business name and then the, you know, because the agency is now like a con conglomeration of all these agencies, then they will search through the database and then they'll give you all the details and they register. Now, you don't need to, you know, present any document field. You just need to fill the form online. You don't have to go there with your CAC form. You don't have to fill the TIN number, the one that you should do when you go to FRS, all those things, present all those things. All those things have been presented before when you register your business name or your company name. So it's now easier for you to just. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. The website is jtb.gov.ng. So I'll put a link in the description so that you'll be able to just register and I'll show you how to do that. And I'm going to register two company one my partnership company and then my other business name so if you go to the old FRS you have to fill all this form the TIN form you have to write a letter to the tax controller then certificate of incorporation then the tax status reports you have to go there take it to their office and then you have to get even get a seal to stamp but now you don't have to do that just go to this jtb.gov.ng and just fill this form and then you can even get if as an individual you can get your tin number as a business or as a uh, as a company so anybody so as long as you have your nin number or your uh what's it called your IN number or your bvn number you can get your uh you know individual but as a company i think it's important for you to register your company so that you'll be able to you know uh, and then you can even verify that here on their website, which is the TIN verification website. So now you don't have to go to their office anymore. You can just do everything right on this page. So for the business, you go to click on this link and I'll put the link in the description and you get to this page and this is what you need to fill. Just this page, nothing else. No more submission of uh, that, you know, this document that you've already submitted, like I said, on CAC website. So, and if you don't know how to register business names, just there's a link in the description so that you learn how to do that. You can register right there on the CAC website. So here you select your organization type. So if it's partnership, private label, or public limited, or you can just choose business name, or if it's sole proprietorship. So if you are just sole, you know, just the owner, you can just choose sole proprietorship or if it's partnership, so I have a sole proprietorship and also have a partnership. So I'm going to register both. The partnership I already registered with FIRS before, but I'm going to get the new JTB system. So here you put your registration number, which is the, we must start with the BN. So it's right there on your CAC certificate. And then it will just, you know, then it will search all your details. You can see every detail that you've submitted at ACAC will reflect the name, your partner's name. If it's just sole proprietorship, you to show your name, you address everything that you've submitted. That's all you need to do. And then all the other options, you need to fill them. So you can see this is the right way it's supposed to be, but before, I don't know why. So phone number, you put one phone number, and of course you can put two, but one is compulsory. You don't have to put the other one. Email address, the same email address you use when you you know, submit as ACAC, but it doesn't matter. Then the date of commencement is right there on your CAC form. So just put the mine is 2016. So, and then the sector, just select your business sector. For me, I, I don't know, all these are 
not related, but I think I'm going to choose maybe information and communication. Let me choose because that one is, I think, is close to what I do as an internet marketer, information and communication, and then it's going to refresh and it's going to go the line of business. I'm going to choose anything related to computer, consultancy, and related activities. Then country, Nigeria, the state. I registered uh, at the MST of Benin, so I'm going to choose Edo. Edo, the local government, Igo, local government. So um, that's where my office and my home is. Then the street number, I'm just going to choose number 59, which is the, you know, the uh, office number. Then financial year is not compulsory anyway, but let me just put the month and of incorporation or commencement. Share capital is not compulsory. Just leave that blank. And now we are done. So you just click on submit and you are done. And then it will tell you you've submitted. Then they give you the request ID. And now you can just copy the request ID or they will send you a link. They'll send it to your email. So just go to your email and then you see this request ID in case you need to contact them. So, and you're done. So you have to wait for like a week or thereabout and then it will process and then they will, you know, send you an email. But in my case, then I'll go ahead and do the second one and then come back. So in my case, I did both and I got this other one for the, my other company, which is Prime Time System Incorp Services. And I waited, uh, you can see the date of submission is 8th of June and today is 27th. That's almost three weeks. I didn't get any reply. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send them an email just to remind them that... Uh, because I believe they probably processed it, but you know, Nigerian system, they, so I'm going to go to their website. You see their email or their number, you can call their number, but I'm going to copy this. I'll copy this and then I'll send them an email then to contact us, JTB, subjects, team creations pending after three weeks. I'm going to compose something and then I'm going to fast forward it. I applied for team online, it's been three weeks and still nothing, blah, blah, blah put your request ID, put your, you know, your business name, please look into it regards, you know, my business name is, so your business name and request ID is all you need. So once they get that, they will look through the request ID on their system and then they will reply. So I waited and I woke up like less than 24 hours, about 21 hours later, I got this email and then you can see just 21 hours later, and I got my, you know, it has been processed, but you know, all those guys are lazy and whatever. So this is my taxpayer ID, and that's all I need. And of course, I can always print it out. So let's so go through the, I think there's another email. Let me check. There's another email sent where they will send you the PDF. Let me go to updates. And then, of course, okay, click on this one, and then you can see the PDF. So, and you can also verify on the verification link. Click on that, and this is the portal, team verification portal, and then I can put my, I put my date of birth, it's giving me error. So instead, I'm gonna put my date of incorporation and my BVN. I'm gonna check this, click on search, and voila, I have my team registration number for the other one, which is the Prime Hype System Services. And you can see it's 10 digits, the new 10 digits, unlike the old 12 digits. And I did that right here on my system without going to FII's office. And I can just send it to my email, abelolasumigmail.com, uh, and then send it to my email, and I'm gonna have it in my email, you know, for you know as a backup so anytime i want to print it out i can always print it out if i click on that i'm getting server error so it doesn't matter so let me just go to my email and then search for that one you can see team reply it was sent originally before but now you can just and this is my team certificate cin certificate which is the new certificate so and you can see 10 digits it has the tax board i did this in oyo so i'm having oyo the other one i did it in benin but of course which is the old one the new one is going to reflect oil also so basically this is it and this form i can use it when i'm you know opening bank accounts whatever you need ti and your tax uh, uh, certificate for and this ladies and gentlemen is how to get your tin certificate which is the new one so even if you've done the fi old fis 12 system i think you should just go there 
go to that link and then but just follow the same process and get the new one because eventually i think they will do away with the old one and if you if i try to verify this on fi rs server it's going to give me an error i'm sure because the tin is different from the jtb so i'm going to choose cac registration i'm going to choose my the uh, search value and then click and then you can see record not found so you can see the tin verification for the fir is different from the jtb so that's why it's important for you to just go and so even if you got the old one you should just uh, get the new one because they are different but even though both of them are accepted go to the bank if you put in the old one or the new one whether no matter where you register you will still you'll still accept it but i think you should just stick with it so if i search for the new one you can see it's record found you can see the fis which is my old one that registered at uh, msto benin so you can see it's showing up on their old fis server but on the JTB server is giving me error. So I've already registered this now on the JTB and I've not gotten that one yet, but eventually I'm going to get that. I'm going to have two number system, the FIRS system, old number, and then the new JTB uh, new number, and I can use any one of them. But as I have this one, since they are going to do away with the old one, so I'm okay with this. So, this is how to register my people, and I hope you like this tutorial. So go ahead, the link in the description, just follow the process, register your, even if you've registered on FIRS before, register again and follow the link. So I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and bye-bye.